Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Garage Bouillon and to another episode on my flood damage 968. In the previous episode, I left you with a power steering pump that was not disconnected. Um, thank you for the advice. I got a few tips from you guys on something I missed, which was those little sleeves that I had to move back. Um, those tips didn't help me much, so I still disconnected the pump. I drained it all out. The reason it didn't help me much is because this guy was stuck in so bad it was rotted in. So I took the pump off with my bracket. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So uh, in the previous episode, I also showed you that I had damage on this housing. Um, as you can see, this is a brand spanking new housing. Um, another thing I discovered, uh, this is maybe interesting for you guys who's doing this at home. If you look at this seal, you'll see it's got circles on it. And if you remember my previous video, I also inserted one with circles on it in the top housing. And you can see this is what I took out. I think this one is the one I took out. This is the one I, I hammered in there. But as you can see, this was meant for the bottom. So that's, that mechanic that worked on the top balance shaft didn't only just screw up the housing. He hammered in the wrong thing and I foolishly followed along going like for like. So um, as you can see, this is circular. What should have been in there is this guy. Let me see if I've got it. Um, I have it somewhere. No, I think I've misplaced it now. Actually, I can show it to you on the housing. It should have been one with squares. So remember this, the one with squares goes into the top, the one with circles goes into the bottom. I started working on this car with, before I filmed because I just wanted to get some progress done, which is why I've done all of this stuff this morning. This is not complex. Um, there are four bolts holding this in. Um, every forum you read, every video you watch on the 944 tells you there's three. I don't know if this is 968 specific, but it's got a fourth bolt, which is this guy here, which is an Allen head bolt. Um, so there's this one. This one is a, a normal hex bolt. And then back here, um, I think probably there. I can't remember exactly where. Probably, it's, I think it's this one. This is another hex bolt. That's number three. And then number four is this guy sitting here. Remember, there are four, so don't force this thing. You will break it. These are insanely expensive. I'll pop the price up so you can see. You do not want to damage this. So what I'm going to be doing in this episode, I'm going to rebuild this housing. I'm going to rebuild this pump. All right, so that's enough babbling. So sit back, relax, and let's start working. There we go. All right, so this housing looks a lot better. There's no damage that I can see, so I'm happy that this one will be okay and I do not want to replace it. So now I'm just going to clean it and then we'll rebuild it. Moments later. All right, this housing is now nice and cleaned up and also this little uh, spacer thingy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's uh, really nice. It doesn't look too bad. Um, there has been a mechanic in here before as well, so there is a little bit of a mark here and a little bit of a mark over there. Um, but they are not on the ceiling surface, so I'm not too worried. Um, it looks like whoever did this job before me actually used the drill and they just went a little too deep. Uh, but on this one it's fine, ceiling surface is good, so this should not be leaking. Um, I'm going to oil it up and then I'm going to get these seals in. Right, 
she is seated. This guy turns around really nicely, so that's really good. Right, so she's ready to go back on the car. We'll just oil this inside surface, make sure it's squeaky clean as well. Some oil on this guy. I almost forgot the little invisible cellophane thingy. That has been a problem. So after some time in the ultrasonic bath and some elbow grease, the pump is looking presentable and leaking fluid again. That doesn't matter. We can clean that up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start stripping it apart, taking out this bolt that I turned in there just to make sure I don't get any water in there, which seems to have worked. Okay, just getting it dry quick. I think this cleaned up really nice actually not too bad at all considering what it looked like i'm happy all right um now we need to start stripping it apart um i just need to make sure that i understand the orientation of things so we start with the top first this one wasn't even in there tight Just going to mark the housing so I know how to cut apart. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, look. All right, so I've got a big O ring, and I believe in here. There's also a seal. Yes. Now this one's a bit harder. Okay. Doesn't seem to have a specific side that I can see. So apparently, I need to just pry this off. I'm not quite sure how. Aha, there's a thing there. Oh, look at that. That was super easy. Okay. All right. Now, you can see what this thing looks like on the inside. It's just got these little veins in there. Um, all right. I think the next thing for me probably would be a circlip somewhere. Let's have a look, see. I'm not quite sure how to do this. All right. 
right, now that the clip is out, I should be able to just push the shaft out, which I am able to. Okay, good. Right, that's the shaft. Next job. So now I don't want to lose these guys, so I need to put my palm in here, like this. And then I just need to wiggle out this oil seal. Here we go. Okay, so it came out. Not too difficult. Now we just have to push in this new seal. Alrighty, I'm just going to tighten these up in the vise. I don't give a torque spec because this is not supposed to be rebuilt. So um, I'll just torque them to 20 newton meters. And this last one will have to go on feel. I think that's good. All right, so I think that's the pump rebuilt so uh, we can start plumbing this up again and hope it doesn't leak anymore. All righty, now we get these guys on. If I can find the bolts. Where did I put you? Oh, come on. Ah, I put them in WD-40. Yes. Strangely enough, these guys do not have any... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put some Loctite on this. I probably don't have to. That's fine. I don't have to. We'll just talk it out. Banjo bolt with new O-rings or new copper washers. Where did I put them? I put them over here. Not sure which one's which, but we will figure that out. Alrighty, another job done. All right, let's see if we can get this pump back into its spot. 
So this stud goes into this gap here, like that. This sleeve goes into the rear, and then this bolt also goes into the rear. And that should be enough to just have it in its spot for now. Okay, just starting it up. Good stuff. And now, this is the guy that was stuck in the front. Should be able to get this one in there now. Yes, that's also now nicely put into its spot. Okay, so that's the pump pretty much in its spot. Now we just have to hook up the lines again. Right, that should do it. And now we just put the high pressure line in with two new crush washers. All right, so now that the pump is in, the next job for us to do is up top. And that is to start loosening all of the bolts on the water pump and to drain the radiator from its fluid. So let's start with that. To do that, we just have to remove this little bolt that sits in here, which seems to be going quite easily. Very good. I've heard that this can spray quite far, so we'll find out. All right, so this snapped off inside. That's nice. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, she snapped off. Luckily, I've got a new one. All right, so as you can see, the cooling fluid is really nice and blue. So um, even here, you can see the service history of this car is impeccable. So uh, I'm just taking off all the hoses for the water pump. Um, then I'll also clean the hoses on the outside so they look nice and fresh. And then we can start taking off the pump. That should be all of the nuts and bolts removed, so we should be able to pry off the block. Let me just get a bit of persuasion. Just a couple of taps should break the seal. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get it off. such a terrible spot. I don't know who tightened this bolt in this orientation. Come on. Allow me to turn you a little bit, please. That's a lot better. All right. There we go. Now let's see if we can pry this pipe off. Yes, we can. So we should be able to now pull the pump free. Let's see if we can do that. I need those rings. Another one. Oh, this is tight. That's already loose. That's good. Oh, nice. Both my screwdrivers in the cooling fluid. Yay. Oh, well. 
we continue. Okay, she's free. Good stuff. All right, so this is the old pump sitting on my bench now with the uh, bolts in the right position. They are not the same length, so make sure when you take them off, you put them into the new pump and then you swap them over again when you're ready to start working on the new pump. All of these um, Jubilee clips, I need to clean. I need to clean these pipes. Um, there's a bit of cleaning to be done. I have uh, lots of new service parts that goes onto this guy. Like I said, this pump is not in bad condition at all. It's actually in really good condition. Uh, the thing is just, I don't know how old this is. And if you don't know how old it is, I think replace it. Um, this is a Geber pump. It's made in Germany, so this is good quality stuff. It's not junk. Um, the, what I need to do now is I need to get a new um, thermostat, which I've already have on order. That hasn't arrived, unfortunately, so I'm waiting, which means I can't really go a lot further other than cleaning. Um, so what I also wanted to show you is on the engine itself. It looks really good in here, uh, except for you can see there's some mud there. There's some mud there. There's still mud in here, which I need to clean. And I think that these oil lines are leaking. Uh, again, I'm not sure what's leaking on this car. There's so much oil here. It's insane. So I actually have O-rings uh, already delivered for this, which means before I put back the water pump, I'm going to drain the oil again and replace those O-rings. But that's not happening in this episode because this one's been long enough and that's a whole nother job that I have to get myself mentally prepared for again. But that means this is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time when we continue the work on this engine. Goodbye.